John Svoboda from Moira Love Mandurah. Today we are interviewing councillors uh, from the Lake City Council. And today we have Councillor Jacqueline Donaldson who would like to be interviewed by us. Thank you. My name is Jacqueline Donaldson. Uh, for the last eight years I've been a councillor on Black Town City Council. Uh, the last one of them I've been the Deputy Mayor, which has been great fun. What I'd like to um, talk about is the things that we've accomplished in the last, especially the last four years, and what I'd like to do in the future if I'm re-elected. So in the past, especially this year, I've actually seen quite a few of my initiatives put into place. So one of them is that instead of now having Mount Franklin Water on council venues, we have Thank You Water. Now Thank You Water is run by a group of Australian young men and all the profits go into helping underprivileged countries, so building wells, supplying clean water, things like that. And that's been something on my heart for a long time because I think instead of going into the pockets of large conglomerates, we now have the council money going out to help people in third world countries. Another thing I'm very proud of is the fact that it was my casting vote that kept Blacktown called Blacktown. If I had voted against it, it would have been lost and we could have ended up being Western Sydney, which I think is a very nondescript kind of name. Another thing I'm proud of is on the rates notices now, you'll see a graphic that explains in a much simpler detail where the rates are spent. So there's a little man with a mower and it tells you underneath how much of your rates has gone to the mowing of the lawns around the whole of the city. You'll also see it'll have underneath the little garbage truck, it says how much of your rates go for the collection of garbage and so on and so on. Another thing that I'm really proud of is I actually voted for the reopening of the pool in Ward 4. Initially I thought no, it's losing too much money and it should be closed. But I'm on the board of the um, anti-diabetes or the pre-diabetes committee that helps to bring ideas into the area about combating diabetes and the doctors there were telling me how much the pool at Mount Druid is used for their clients who are swimming and it's helping with their diabetes. So when it came to, uh, to vote for the reopening of it, I did. So I'm proud of that as well because it shows that I listen to the community and I can change my mind if I have to on a big issue. For the future, well, I'd still like to see the mega park. I'd like to have a really 